Health officials are sounding the alarm tonight about an animal tranquilizer being mixed into drugs like fentanyl. Those struggling with substance abuse may be in the dark about what they're putting into their body. Here's 7 investigator Ross Jones. It's making its way through the illicit drug supply. It's found a lot with things like heroin and fentanyl. A drug used as an animal tranquilizer is showing up more and more in street drugs here in Michigan. Xylazine has been linked with 171 deaths in the state since 2019, and experts say it is almost certainly being undercounted. And we are seeing this kind of emerging trend of xylazine in our opioid-related overdose deaths. Shannon Phillips is an epidemiologist for the Washtenaw County Health Department. She reports that in her county, 8% of opioid-related deaths between 2021 and May of this year were linked to xylazine. The drug is a powerful central nervous system depressant that can stop your breathing, cause brain damage, and easily lead to death. It is most often added to fentanyl, but it can be mixed into heroin or pressed into pills. Unlike fentanyl, its effects cannot be reversed. Since xylazine is not an opioid, it doesn't respond to Narcan or Naloxone, which um, is the medication that can reverse an opioid overdose. While limited testing makes it difficult to always detect xylazine, one of the drug's hallmarks is painful skin ulcers. Many of the wounds that we've seen recently um, on, at our uh, street outreach and with the street medicine team um, have been a little bit more severe. And so we do um, correlate that with potentially being xylazine. The overdose death rates are not lying. David Clayton is the program director for Harmless, a street medicine and harm reduction program that's part of Families Against Narcotics. The drug supply right now is probably the worst it's ever been. Um, we don't really know what's actually in the drug supply. Whether someone has fallen victim to xylazine or a drug cut with something else, the group's goal is to meet those struggling with addiction wherever they are and help them find treatment. That substance use is a clinical disease. Um, if we come at it from a clinical matter and, and, and you know, further uh, expansion of accessing treatment, um, accessing medical care, um, that's the biggest thing. And from Clinton Township, I'm Ross Jones, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Ross. Now, if you or someone you know is looking for help in the battle with substance abuse, you can learn more about the services available through Families Against Narcotics on our website right now at WXYZ.com.